Hey man, it's the ISO guy sensei, the greatest nigga on 2K in existence. And look man, Ronnie 2K has accidentally exposed 2K23, my career, park, well, the city, and the cruise ship without you even knowing, man. And I got a bunch more news about little old Ronnie and a, and a bunch of other, and a bunch of other 2K23 things. So make sure y'all watch this full video. Drop a like for your boy. It helps the vid out a lot. And yeah, subscribe. So Young Luck, before we get into that Ronnie stuff, Young Luck tweeted out builds will cost 300 through 500K in NBA 2K23. Remember this tweet. Then he says, I'm trolling, but wouldn't be surprised but what would be your reaction? What he don't understand is bills are already 400 plus K to max on next gen. Not on current, but on next gen, bills are 400 plus K to max. This is not a game. Everyone, I don't care if you're a 2K dick rider, dick sucker, double twist gawker. I wanna be in, I want a logo. I want the next maker program. I, this is the only thing that makes me happy. I, I have, my whole life is miserable. So I, and 2K brings me, I don't care who or what you are, boy. Y'all, you know, I'm not saying to like OD on it, but when you get chance, tweet at 2K. They don't like that Twitter stuff, bro. Erupt, become toxic. There's no reason to suck a billion dollar dick. <laughs> There's no reason to suck billion dollar dick when they're doing things like this. That's basically the game, bro. Certain patches to, they're gonna make other builds useless and you know, all, all different type of stuff. And it's like, bro, already paying for the game boost, Gatorade. Why, why is that not just on your player from the start? There's so many different things. No more dick sucking 2K, bro. I don't care. I will be the voice that will call your ass out and stop that shit, nigga. I do not care, my boy. And y'all let me know uh, down below what you think, um, the builds will cost in 2k23 okay so ronnie had a little interview right he he said this before you know i already covered it in uh, one of my other ronnie videos you know actually on video but this is more of a you know text interview right person says tell me about mj well what can you say he's the greatest of all time facts damn ronnie how you know that it is the 23rd 2k i mean that's pretty simple but I think it's actually bigger than that. We are stamping our best titles with Jordan years. I didn't hear him actually say that directly. Like the, the video is different. Then he says, I think it's like a statement that this is our third year on next gen, okay? I've never heard that either. Is he trying to hype it up or is he telling facts? Like, okay, like, oh, we finally got our shit together. We're used to next gen now. Cause you know how they'd be like, this is our first time on next gen with the 21 stuff and all that. But now they saying, no, we, we, you know, we feel very confident about this product. It's going to be the greatest one yet. Why not put the greatest athlete of all time on our cover, right? This is not the news that I'm talking about, right? But I, I just wanna tell y'all a few things before we go into it. So also in this interview, man, CT said, what are the features that you're most excited about in 2K23? Um, Ronnie pulled the political move, like this nigga's the president or some shit. He says, I really love the Jordan challenges in 2K11. That's not a feature. So either Ronnie's dumb or he's he's trying to push a different agenda. So th this right here, it kind of makes me think that maybe they're making you pay for something. <laughs> Bro, that's crazy how where my mind goes. Like, we'll, like the Jordan challenges will require VC. For y'all that play the Jordan challenges, did it require any VC, bro? I kinda don't remember like I do, but I don't. Ronnie has revealed his favorite player is KD. This explains a lot, he's a fuck nigga. So this person asks, what two teams will you play with, right? This person's asking terrible questions. It's to the point to where Ronnie's just talking about completely different things. I have always traditionally played a lot of my career. I think a lot of people would say the same thing. This doesn't even make sense. <laughs> I don't even know why he said that. A job position opened up and it happened to be like 10 minutes from where I grew up. So Ronnie was fated to be the face of 2K. How y'all feel about that? Here it is right here. What I wanted to talk to y'all about. This person said, so what does 2K23 look like? Ronnie says, okay, pay close attention. We'll be on Mars. Leak, 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 leak. 
Then he says, I don't know. What the hell? What the is this nigga talking about? Then he says, I'll tell you one thing. There is a long-term strategy. These things don't happen over the course of time, okay? Now, let me educate y'all. I don't know if y'all seen those Ronnie videos in the past about the park or about why they didn't do this, why they didn't do that. So he uses these lines and these type of words, this point of view to try to combat and control the masses, right? He's basically making an excuse for 2K23. And I'll show you that more. Um, you keep listening, right? He's he's kind of making an excuse for us having the same cruise ship, it looking the same, and uh, us having the city and it looking the same, okay? So like, like what, what's the point of saying this, you know? There's a long-term strategy. These things don't happen over the course of time, you know? He's, then he gives examples. Take the quick game feature in 2K10 that used to just be the way you would play, but then we developed my career, right? Okay. I'm not saying this is not a fact or something, but you know, of course, everything in life takes time, but he's saying we're getting a copy paste, but it was with a long-term vision of having a 2K league eventually and that didn't happen for years, right? So what is he saying? What What's the point of saying this? Y'all gotta learn, learning context clues. What is implied? Read between the lines of what people really say. All you gotta do is listen to people. They'll tell you everything you want to know, man. Then he says, but every step of the way, face scans in 2K15, the ability to play my player online in 2K14, all of these were steps that were part of a long-term process were just scratching the surface. He said, well, they just scratching the surface. I hear a lot of people say, what more can they do? What more can 2K do? There's so many things, bro. You just a smooth brain, small brain, you know, dumb nigga. You know, there, there's so many different things 2K can do. But he's saying they just scratching the surface. Y'all let me know down below what y'all think will be happening in the future 2K. Like what's most likely. But then he says, everybody's always like are you gonna do better next year we always find a way well, he's saying it's better than 2k22 but it's also about evolving the technology okay so this is like a um a excuse that he used to use on like the older consoles like oh it can't keep up it can't do like what we want we got a p5 now we got a baby computer it could keep up now you better show us something you don't need no more evolving technology. You better show us something. I think what y'all really need is to evolve them servers, my boy. So then you could really do with the P5, the Xbox series. It's really capable of, man. Y'all let me know if y'all think uh, 2K23 gonna be a copy paste. So look, 2K, take notes, dickheads, you fucking idiots. Their Modern Warfare 2 beta date will reportedly be in mid-September starting around September 16th. Look at this. They get they get a beta every fucking year, bitch. Why can't you do it, you fuck nigga? All these other games get betas except for us. You don't know why? It's because it's complacent ass community. It's because 2K don't have competitors. So they ain't gotta like, hey, look at our product. Fuck with us, right? Because if, if niggas don't get a beta, they not even gonna try your shit. But then with a beta, they're like, oh, like, you know, I, I'm, I might fuck with it type shit. But 2K, they don't have to do that. They just go off of drop a little news and you, you get it <laughs> you get it and then you go find out where you play that whole type shit lame as fuck 2k intel tweets out what's your favorite thing from 2k22 that you would like to see in nba 2k23 y'all let me know down below what you would like to see from 2k22 um in 2k23 um honestly me i would honestly have to say the re even though it was executed wrong, you should get way more badges, way more progression, and I, I think you should even have to spend like VC on even upgrade. But uh, you know, niggas ain't gonna do that. But the rebirth, you know, I think, I think I like that the most, man. Y'all, let me know what 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 it is for y'all. NBA 2K23 wish list. Reply below. Let's make a community wish list. Y'all let me know y'all's uh, 2K23 wish list down below in the comments. 
This guy right here said no squads and wreck. That would be amazing. I really wish they would do that. And then have a squads wreck too, you know? You, you should be able to enable or like disable, you know? Like say for instance, you can't get enough people in the no squad wreck. So then you have to like change the settings to where, oh, now you're available. Now you like, you're enabling squads to come and play just in case like there's too many on the squad stuff or you know the walk on y'all know what i'm talking about man young badge plug tweets out what's the most overpowered badge in 2k history y'all let me know what y'all think is the most overpowered badge in the comments i would probably say one of those badges that has to do with takeover um i think it was like i hear like heart crusher like it was like at one point it was like one steal the whole team's cold or uh i think uh like one flashy your team had team take i don't remember the badges completely maybe brick wall from 2k17 that's definitely up there i don't know what this dbg nigga talking about limitless range from 2k16 shut up bro <laughs> Bro, like, what, what do niggas be talking about, bro? What? Like, Limitless Range is in every 2K, and I'm sure there's been other 2Ks where it's, it's been more OP than 16. 16 shooting wasn't even one of the easiest, so I don't understand. That was one of the hardest 2Ks to shoot in compared to the rest. Fancy Footwork definitely in there from uh 2K20. I think that, I think it was the Special Delivery. Um, It was something, bro. It was like two shots. Your whole team would get team take. It was some crazy shit, bro. And Showtime was pretty OP too in 20. Like, very bad. Because I think, like, people could dribble glitch. And then you basically have to double him because he could dribble glitch. And then once he passes it down low, that dude could just Showtime. Then they get, like, team take in, like, th two or three shots. I, I don't remember. Anywho. I tweet out, man, the city in 2K is better than the cruise ship in every way. True or false? I shouldn't have said every way, but um, y'all let me know y'all's opinions down below. I actually think the city is better than the cruise ship in um, basically every way. I mean, besides its size, um, you get way more games. Uh, it looks better. You have multiple parks. You can spawn in any park. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to travel. And the cruise ship is like dead. It's way, bro, it's so hard to get games on the cruise ship, like dead ass. I know a lot of people with logos, they might not know, like it, they might not know this, or maybe Xbox players too, uh, like the creators, but just overall, man, you get way more games in the city. I, I think per every affiliation court, there's four random courts. So if y'all didn't know, random courts is how you get the most amount of games. Like that, that's what I, I literally have to play the random court on a current gen because there's like no other way for me to get games like even if i'm running around trying to get people to play me and stuff like i might just waste my time then they walk off the spot the only way to really assure games is the random court like it's bad bro like there's way too many courts and then the twos courts is combined with the threes courts but there's just too many twos courts and it's, it's too many there's not enough people in there to play bro like so people are more like, oh, I can keep running and not play this this guy, and, you know? But the city, there's four random courts. They turn you around so you can't see who you're playing next, etc., bro. Cruise ship is definitely overhyped, man. Anywho, man, make sure y'all subscribe if you know, like that video, help your boy out. i am be covering all the 2K23 news, all the 2K23 best builds, best jump shots, exploits, and everything 2k23 man so make sure y'all turn on them noties but hey hey here we go again yeah. here, here we go again people talking this but when this hit the fan everything i'm at made me now break it down yo off the top of the dome dome